Hello, this is Dr. Chuck again. Uh, welcome to week one of business research. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the subject matter of chapter one and how it applies to research and how we'll apply to this class and apply to your, your careers and futures in research. Uh, the first question that we look at chapter one is why study business research? Uh, it's because business research provides information that basically guides business decisions. Business research plays an important role in an environment that emphasizes measurement. The yeah, return on investment is the calculation of the final return for all business expenditures and it emphasizes more now than ever before. It's very important that we have return on investment. So when we do business research, it is instead of working from an intuitive platform, we are working from a research platform so we have data and information to support the decisions that we make which affect the return on investment which it, it, you know affects the uh, the profits of the organization. So what is business research? It is a process of determining, acquiring, analyzing, synthesizing, and disseminating relevant business data, information, and insights to decision makers. So again, as that process, we have to determine what the issues are, what our problems are trying to solve. We acquire data to try and solve that problem. We analyze that data to determine what the solutions are. We can synthesize that data with what we found, what we already know, what other research might have shown, and then we disseminate that out to the organization to make the changes that are necessary to get you know benefits from that research. Uh, the next question is what's changing in business that influences research? What's going on now in the world that will have an if in impact on research? There are definitely new research uh, perspectives out there. You've got uh, different epistemologies that affect our research and the type of research we want to do, whether it's qualitative or quantitative. And as we get new knowledge about research and the value of research in organizations, it's changing the face of research. We have information overload. There's so much information, whether it's through the internet or through other people or through the news. And so how do you disseminate what is the right information, what is the most appropriate information, what information fits our culture, our strategies, our vision, our mission. All these are important, so because of an overload of information, we need in research to look at what information is accurate and which can most, most benefit our organization. There's technology, there's a, a shifting in global economics, there's a critical scrutiny of business. Businesses need to show more return on investment, more profit margins, so there's definitely a scrutiny on business, so business research helps us in, you know, in those factors. Business planning drives business research, so it depends on what our mission, what our vision, uh, what our goals, what our uh, strategies are, and what our tactics are. All those have an effect on what type of research we are going to use and what we're going to do with that research. Now, research may not always be necessary. You don't always have to do a full-fledged research project at work in a workplace. But the question is, if I'm going to do research or I'm going to go to my organization and say I want to do research, you want to ask, can the research that we're going to do pass these tests? Can the information be applied to a critical decision? If I'm going to take information, can it be applied to that decision or is it just information? Will the information improve managerial decision making? By having the data that we have from the research, will it help us in our decision making process? And important, are all the resources available? You don't want to start a research project that takes manpower, energy, time, all that. So do I have the resources that are available to even finish this research project or even to bring about the changes that we would get from it? There is a business research process that we'll talk about, you'll read about as you go through the course, and that is the process that you go through in research. So what are the characteristics of good research? Good research is you need a very clearly defined purpose. What is the purpose of my research? Why do I need research? A detailed research process. You define and you map out the process of the research. You need a thoroughly planned design. Uh, what type of research am I going to do? Is it quantitative? Is it qualitative? What am I going to do with the information? High ethical standards. We'll spend a whole chapter on standards, a whole area, I think even a whole week on, on standard, on ethical standards in research. Uh, the limitations. What are the limitations of this research? What are we not addressing? What could we learn from it that could cloud us in other areas? Do we have adequate analysis? Are we adequately analyzing the data? Do I have the proper statistical tools to analyze the data? Um, is my presentation to senior management ambiguous? Do they understand or do they not understand it? The conclusions that I come from the research, are they justified? Can they be justified in terms of cost, in terms of necessity, in terms of manpower that it takes? And the credentials, 
who's doing the research? Is it someone who understands research? What research have we done into the research process? So these are all good characteristics of good research. There are two different types of research. There's applied research where we take that research, we learn from it, and we apply it. It's very pragmatic. And then there's just basic pure research, which is very theoretical, and it's usually used to support other research methods that then become applied. Four different types of studies in research. There's a reporting study. If I'm doing research, it may just be to report out some information. I'm just going on a fact-gathering information. Another type of research is descriptive research, and that is where I am trying to describe a phenomena through my research. Explanatory research gets into more explaining why we have a phenomena. It starts using statistical tests if it's a quantitative study on explaining a phenomena, explaining how we know something happened. And then there is, and then there is predictive research where we actually create a, a, a model where we can make predictions from that research. So those are the four types of studies for, for the research process. That covers chapter one, gives you an overview of what we're going to be covering in chapter one, an overview of what you'll learn. I look forward to learning with you, and have a great time.